As an anime and manga artist, it's natural to want to graduate from doing fan art to finally designing your own original characters and maybe even eventually creating your own manga. However, designing your own OC isn't as simple as just drawing a random original character. It isn't just about making the coolest or best looking character either. And it definitely goes beyond just technical drawing skills. Our pro Japanese mangaka mentors, Nao Yazawa and Rena Saya, have a combined experience of over 50 years in the professional manga industry. They have worked with over 200 of our students so they could learn to create their own original characters. And from this experience, we've come to realize that majority of beginner artists just have no clue with what they're doing. In this video, we'll share the process that our pro mangaka mentors and students follow to create their own original characters. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a well-developed OC that you'll fall in love with even more. FYI, our mission is to help you reignite your passion for your anime and manga art. We want to help you develop your talent and build more skills so you can finally start creating artworks that you feel excited and proud of. If you resonate with this mission, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn how to confidently draw and design your own original characters and finally put your exciting ideas on paper, then we invite you to book a call with us. We'd love to get to know more about you and your art journey and if we see that we can help you out then we'll let you know the link to book a call is in the description let me tell you what happened in one of our zoom sessions with professional manga artist now yazawa we ask our students to submit their ocs so yazawa sensei could take a look at them we didn't give a template and we basically just ask everyone to submit what they had so we could get a baseline as to where everyone was at our students are all self-taught so this was a result of all their own existing knowledge as to how to create their own OCs. And when Yazawa Sensei asked our students to explain their characters, you know what they said? I only designed them, but I haven't really fleshed out the personality. Yeah, um, I didn't think that far ahead yet. Oh, um, this character is tough. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a strong guy. Yazawa Sensei was literally speechless. She was like, okay, so I can't give you any advice because I don't know anything about your character. Everyone was all about the visuals. No one had really thought about their character's background or story or personality. Some had brief descriptions, but they were very shallow. And if you read a manga with one-dimensional characters, it gets very boring, right? The thing is, we are exposed to amazing art every day on social media. When we see an artist that we follow share their OC, all that sticks to our brain is the art. Mmm, great visuals. But what we don't see is the unsexy part behind developing a character. Thinking about their life story, thinking about their personality, thinking about what makes them unique. Forget the entire plot of Naruto for a second and try to make sense of Naruto's character design without the context. Why does he look like this? Why does he dress like that? Why does he have whiskers? Only the story can explain this. Now, I want you to be honest and think about your OCs. Do you have a well-developed background story for them? Do you have a deep understanding of their personality? If you spend time developing your character, it's like you're getting to know this whole new person and you'll actually feel like they're more than just a random cool looking character you drew. If you feel like you can do a better job creating and developing your own OC, then make sure to keep watching. Before we start conceptualizing our characters, here's something you need to know. There are two types of manga and anime stories. First is the plot-driven or story type where stories revolve around events. The story is developed first and characters are designed to fit that story and to react to the events happening. One good example of this is the award-winning anime, Akudama Drive. The story revolves around the divided society of a dystopian Japan and its corrupt and violent government. The main character is an innocent, ordinary girl who accidentally gets wrapped up in the criminal underworld and is forced to fight for her life to survive. The second is the character type or the character-driven kind of story. Here, everything revolves around the main characters. Take Death Note for example. The entire plot is driven and revolves around Light Yagami and how he uses a Death Note to impose his own perception of justice to the world. Most anime and mangas are character-driven, which is why you really need good comprehensive character design. 
According to Yazawa Sensei, designing characters is literally imagining and creating a person with a history, relationships, and motivations that shape their entire personality. A good way to practice designing OCs and develop your storytelling skills is by building character profiles. A character profile contains a breakdown of what your character's personality, background, and role in the story will be. Consider their age, gender, appearance, and any other quirks they might have. Decide on their strengths, weaknesses, and motivations. This will be the foundation of your character's design. You can even decide what their zodiac sign or blood type is and base their design around that. In fact, did you know that in Japan, they're really big on blood types? Similar to zodiac signs, Japanese people believe in the idea that a person's blood type helps define their personality. You'll notice in character profiles that straight-laced overachievers are usually blood type A, the spontaneous troublemakers are usually blood type B, the happy and optimistic characters are usually blood type O, and the weird crazy ones are usually AB. Once you have your OC's story in mind, you can start by sketching rough outlines of your character's basic features from the face to the body. Visuals are an important storytelling device, so you need to have a clear vision of who this character is first so you can properly communicate that through their design. Rena Sensei says that it's best to think of the genre of the story you want to create to help you better visualize your characters. Are you going to go with shoujo, shonen, fantasy, or everything in between? When you look at shonen versus shoujo manga, their looks and themes are completely different. Shonen includes adventure, action-packed scenes, or supernatural elements. The main characters often have a more boyish, heroic appearance. Shoujo manga, on the other hand, typically focuses on romance and relationships with characters tending to have a more elegant and attractive look. The key is to experiment with character-defining elements such as facial features, hair, body types, and clothing styles. Think about how these elements reflect the character's personality and story. You can learn more about how to draw different anime faces, hairstyles, poses, outfits in our other videos on our YouTube channel. Pro tip, you can use models as references, and according to Rena Sensei, anything can be models. You can use images of other existing characters or even actors or actresses you think may be similar to your own OC. You can also use animals as inspiration to design your characters. If you want to design a cute, happy character, you can take inspiration from the features of cute animals like puppies and incorporate them into your character's appearance. Or, if you want to design a more mischievous and sassy character, you can take inspiration from cats. It's all up to you. Storytelling and character designing is a lengthy process that requires a lot of thought, planning, and effort. We've seen artists try to develop original characters but give up halfway through. Have you ever tried to draw the same character more than once, but they always seem to look different? Instead of trying to figure out a way to stay consistent, you just draw freely and randomly each time. So there's really no development with the same characters. Don't worry because there's a way around this. You can create a character model sheet. A character model sheet typically has drawings of your character from three to six angles. These angles will typically include front view, profile, back view, and three quarter views. It should contain at least one full body drawing in the character in a few different poses or expressions. When you wanna draw the same character, have this character model sheet ready in front of you. It'll act as your reference and you can finally draw the same character more consistently. It might take time and effort to create your model sheet, but it'll definitely be worth it. According to Yazawa Sensei, if you keep practicing, it'll just become muscle memory at some point. Final challenge. We want you to tell us about your OC in the comments. What's their name, age, birthday, personality, weaknesses, strengths, and background stories? Give us as much info as you can because we would love to learn more about your original characters. If you've always wanted to create your own manga and have been struggling to get anything done for years, then feel free to book a call with us and we'll see if we can help. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.